everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm sharing a fun new card project featuring new products from Gina K Designs and designer Lisa Hetrick. I love this stamp set and I'm excited to share this card, which is coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'll be creating with today. And this is a beautiful stamp set from my friend Lisa Hetrick. It is called Showers of Blessings. Now, there are coordinating dies available. I do not have those, and my card is just gonna be stamping and some masking, but it is a three-step stamp to create this beautiful flower that can also be an umbrella. And there's the umbrella stand, rain, we've got greenery, the greetings, showers of blessings to you, and in every garden, a little rain must fall. So. The thing I want to start out with is doing some masking. So I'm going to stamp, let's see here, I'm going to stamp this image onto some masking magic and I'm going to cut that out. I keep all of my masking magic in a pouch so whenever there's a little scrap I have everything in here to use and it's really handy. And what I'm going to do here, let's see, I think that will fit there. I want to stamp it right on where it splits so it's going to be easy for me to pull apart. I don't need the magnet. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm going to, I'm just going to stamp it right here. And that will give me room to cut and still save some of the piece. Now, if you've never done this before, it's really fun to mask because, well, it's... <laughs> It's magic, just like the product says. So I'm gonna ink this up with some of Gina's black onyx ink. Any black ink will do here because this is just to give me an outline to cut out. Okay. And there is my outline. So let me grab my scissors and we can cut this out. I'll speed it up, but sometimes people wanna see all the steps, so I got you. So that's my mask. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's pretty easy to trim these out. And now I'm going to plan the design of my card. Before we use the mask, we need to stamp our lovely, our lovely little, little friend here. And I'm gonna start with it right here. And I'm going to stamp with my lightest color first. And that is the light orchid. I'm going with light orchid, dark orchid, and black and gray today for my color scheme. So we'll start out here with Gina Kay's light orchid. And this is the background layer of the bloom slash umbrella. I got a little piece of something in there, but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna stamp it one more time. It's gonna be just fine because it's going to be covered up beautifully. All right, so this is the first layer. Now I'm going to go in with my second layer and add some detail with the detail stamp. We're gonna get this lined up to the best of our ability, and I think that will look just just fine. Pick that up and I'm going to use dark orchid. So we're skipping the medium and we're going right to dark. And we'll just do a few layers of this to add that detail to this flower. Maybe I will bring in my little stampin' bug 
think I'll get one more in there. And even if you're not lined up perfectly, as long as you're just in the flower itself, even if you hung out a little bit, you're fine. But see how that deepens every time? Oh, I love it. I think I'm gonna do it one more time. All right, give that a press. Now I'll do the outline layer, which is basically the same layer that I created my mask with. Even if it's not perfect, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine because it's whimsical and we can have a little off, but this is very sticky still. So make sure, oh, not that one. Make sure that you reposition your cardstock every time that you're gonna stamp again just so that you don't misalign your stamp and paper. All right, okay. and bring this down. And I'm Well, I guess I will use this press tool. Just wanna see how I did. That's pretty good. There's a little offset and that is totally fine. Okay, bring that down again for a nice inky transfer. Isn't that cool how it just brings in all the detail? All right, I'll get this cleaned up, then we'll use the mask. So now we're gonna put our mask on. And even though I didn't have everything lined up perfectly uh, with the detail, with the whimsical design of this, it just doesn't matter, you know? And that is one of the things that I love about Lisa's designs. They're just, they encourage play, they encourage, you know, let's see, I'm trying to get, as I'm talking about not being perfect, I'm just trying to figure out where the mask goes. Actually start at the bottom. No, that's that's not, let's go that. Well, there we go. Mask. Okay, I'm gonna take another piece of paper and just press this down to make sure. I just don't wanna transfer any ink to my fingers. But now our mask is in place, okay? And we can stamp some raindrops. But I was going to say, Lisa's designs encourage play and whimsy, and I love that. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take some raindrops and I'm just going to have a few right over here to the edge, because I will be trimming this down a little bit but I'm in my corner here. My mask is probably gonna wanna come up because my stamp is still so sticky. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to make sure that's pressed down really well. And I'm gonna use my Gina K Designs. This is Amalgam Ink, but the color is Whisper. Now, I don't have, well, I don't think I have any cardstock in this color. It is one of my favorite grays. Um, I ran out of the Whisper cardstock and I think out of stock right now but it's I think this is gonna give me sort of this warm rain I didn't want to go cold with blues and I think I think this is gonna be kind of cool so we're gonna do two layers of the whisper and let those raindrops come on down like that oh, I love it actually let's get up there a bit I think that's a really cool sort of warm, watery look. And I'm going to repeat it down here. I wanna have more raindrops down here. And that's how we're gonna do it. Pick it up. Oh, the mask is staying on pretty well. Get in position here, like that. And ink up and add more of our gray rain. My whisper pad is a little dry, but I don't have a reinker for it. Someday, someday I'll get reinkers for everything. Sometimes though, I'm just lazy and I just order new pads. Don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. I guess I just kind of blew that one, didn't I? All right, getting you in there, getting our gray rain like that. So that is going to frame the whole piece. Now, before I take the mask off, we're gonna do some things here. We're gonna add our umbrella handle right about there, right? See that? So it's 
It's upside down, it's holding the umbrella. Maybe it could come over a little bit, but the nice thing is with the mask, it's gonna look like it's coming out from underneath the flower. And that is the goal, right? And I'm going to use the same black onyx ink because I want this to match the lines in the outline. Okay, ink that up and bring it down. And I can stamp that one more time just to get a little inkier right up top. I wonder if you just heard Frankie. I'm filming around his dinner time and sometimes he comes up and bites me in the bum. Okay, so let's clean that off. Now, before I move on from the mask, I'm gonna do a little bit more here because I think what I would like to do is take a little greenery here and have some coming out from the base of the flower there. And let's grab one here too. Over here as well, so that you get this illusion of greenery coming out behind. And again, when you have your mask, and it's in place and it's doing its thing, you know, don't be afraid to play with that layering and making things look like they come from the back. Now this is fresh asparagus, which I thought would be a beautiful ink with the purples that I'm using. I love the depth of this green and how nicely it will play with the orchids. Okay, lift that up. Oh, that looks really good. I might do another little quick tap. An extra color there, like that, okay? And it's so funny, because when you're using masks, things start to look a bit messy, right? But then, all of a sudden, it gets beautiful. Now here, a little more layering. I think I have to do that one separate, but I'm just going to have that coming out, but again, you're just gonna see the part that is getting inked up and stamps in front like that. Okay, I think that's probably good. Yeah, that looks great. And I'm gonna do one more on the other side. I really love Lisa's designs because they make me feel like I can be a little more whimsical and I can try things that maybe I wouldn't normally do. She really inspires me and also Lisa has a really wonderful YouTube channel. She goes live. I will be sure to put a link to her video channel, her her YouTube channel, her place where she shares videos um, in the in my description box. So please check her out. Um, she's, she's wonderful. All right, I'm gonna do just one more here, and I want to make sure this is dry because I think I, I think I have a chamois that has quite a bit on it. I want to have a little more greenery coming out here, but I'm not sure. You know what? I may just leave it. I think that's good. I think it's good. And now, do I want to add in any more big drops? That I don't know, but let's peel off our mask and reveal what is underneath our little scene. Isn't that sweet? I love it. And just a little greenery right from behind. Oh, I love it. And again, you could add more if you wanted. You could have less. You could put some over the top, but I think I'm going to leave this nice and clean and we'll get something for our greeting. I don't think I'm going to do extra drops. So let me get the greeting. All right. For the greeting, I am going to use in every garden, a little rain must fall. That looks pretty pretty centered to me. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. And I'm going to stamp this in black onyx as well. But I'm just gonna do the way Gina does it where you ink up really nicely, right? And we're just gonna drop it and do a light press. And then I'll just stamp it again because this has a really oh, let's get all the color though it has kind of a light type face on that top line and I don't want to squish that or lose that. So we'll just drop it down, but not squish. Oh, that looks great. 
Now there are other raindrops and details that I could put on here, but I am, I'm happy with the way this looks. So let's get some dyes and trim some things out. Going to channel my inner Gina K and I am going to, I think I'm going to map this in black. So I just want you to all, I want you to bear witness. Um, I'm going to use Gina's master layouts dies because these give you the perfect little layering friends, right? And here we can come in, just kind of line it up. I just kind of eyeball it until it looks about right and tape this down and I'm going to go ahead and run this through my die cut machine off camera and then I'm going to cut a panel of black onyx cardstock using the larger one so I can nest them together. Let me cut that out real quick. So now I have my two panels that I think will nest together. Yes they will. Look at that little black outline. I'm feeling it. All right, so we're going to take some tape, and this is Gina's tape runner. Love, love, love this tape runner. Love the sound it makes and the way it works, right? And now I'm going to line this up. That's pretty good, right? Does that look pretty good? Let's get you lined up over there. Yeah. Hey, that looks great. Let me get a note card. I've got my piece of cardstock here. So this is 11 inches by four and a quarter. And I will score it right here at five and a half. And give that a press down. My cardstock is a little off um, this particular grouping that I have. I bought some paper directly from the paper mill. And at first I thought it was my score pal, <laughs> like somehow, because I just got the newer one that has the eighths on it so that I could measure more accurately what I need to. And uh, it's not, it's the paper. My paper is off and sometimes that happens, but you know what? What are you going to do? No one's going to hold my card up and say, Kathy, what is up with that? At least if they do, I don't think I should send them any more cards. All right, let me get some foam tape on the back. We got some Ulta new foam tape on the back here. And I'll just release the backers. It's very humid today, and I don't have my air conditioning yet, but it's coming. It's coming. All right. And again, little head's going to get in the way here just ever so slightly. And we're going to pop this down onto our note card. Oh, I think this is so pretty. I wonder if I should do like some dew drops. Um, let me grab some, I think I'll just add some of Gina's clear dew drops on here. And we'll just use a little connect glue. And I just think this is the appropriate type of embellishment for rain, right? Because it's clear. We're going to put a drop down and press that down. Pick that up. Little boop. And it will dry clear. Also, I'm using Gina's pick and stick tool and one of the things I learned from her with dew drops is to come straight at them to pick them up. Don't come at them from the side because they're going to be easier to pick up if you go straight down. Well now I can't. Well there you go. Boop. <laughs> Gotta miss the boop on that one. The bigger ones though, the bigger dew drops are always hard to pick up. But the nice thing is, is your glue is going to dry clear and you won't, you won't see a thing. I mean, you know, you, you'll, well, I just slid that thing right into oblivion. All right. Last one, little guy there and boop, just like that. And that is my finished card project. So I hope this inspires you today to play with some masking, but also to check out Lisa's amazing designs. I just think. I mean, look at that. Upside down, you stamp it that way, it's an umbrella that way. I just think having a flower as an umbrella, there's so many whimsical things you can do with this. I kept it pretty clean and simple, but I mean, for me, this is my version of whimsy. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. I'd love to have you become a subscriber to my channel, so do that today and hit the like button as well. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. 
To see a few more cards where I used amazing products from Gina K Designs, check out the two thumbnails I have linked for you below and I'll see you in those videos.